Hello, my name is Scott for SP Gaming. We are back here in City Skylines. It is the city of Charleston back yet again. And if you're looking closely, you'll see I spent a fair bit of time laying down roads indeed. Um, all these open spaces, there wor weren't any roads. I completed this neighborhood. Um, what else did I do? I had... Yeah, I put this rail line underground just so I could expand this out here. And as well, I found these oil tankers, oil tanks, on the workshop. I think they look rather insane. Yeah, compared to anything else. <laughs> I really wish there was like a half size version because that just seems really excessive and it's really hard to actually place them as I believe that they are... Yeah, they are an entire block here, and this is actually, this is a 10 deep block, and so pretty much, uh, yeah, they are a 10 by 10, and I think I have the space in between, yeah, there's 32 tiles between the two roads, but when you compare them to everything else around them, that's just insane, insane, anyway. I also threw a few over here and as you can see all the roads have been laid out I have a few tunnels here and of course Charleston's new freeway it connects of course the expanded downtown with the old Charleston town and I decided to keep this bridge although I was thinking about widening this to a a two-lane or divided uh, highway but I decided to keep it as is and not a whole lot has really changed with this other than I've added more houses more houses along this side added more trees made this a little bit more green space and yep I ran the rail it's now coming underneath the overpass and I had to adjust the overpass to account for this and uh, so it's rather than coming up and over it like it was before and then it running across here because I had the rail station over here I now have it coming along the highway and I have this here I think I touched upon this in the last episode but uh, yeah any traffic from over here can jump on the highway or not the highway the well the kind of the collector highway and jump on here and then they have to kind of cut around I may instead raise this up and just bring it over its own highway rather than having this weird thing here this was just to see how it would work I don't really like the merging over that happens here You have these, uh, yeah, all this traffic has to merge here and then get over here. But uh, traffic is flowing. And, uh, yep, yeah. so this is going to be the layout for the extended downtown. It'll come over here. I have this. I finally laid out some roads. It's all looking good. Over here, I was thinking of just zoning this over with the terraforming tool and just expanding the uh, skyline, but I decided to make a little bit of a park, ring the pond with these uh, uh, pedestrian paths, <laughs> and they, uh, they connect to various parts of the downtown, ring around with trees just to make it look beautiful and this path comes up under here over to of course our harbor front oh. I put down one of Hawk's boardwalks it's a two by and I think this gives yeah a little bit of uh, entertainment radius five so it's not that much but uh, otherwise it would have just been you know like this 
I haven't decided whether I do anything similar here, although I'd have to have a road. And yeah, so we have, rather than having that bridge that was coming across here, I implemented a tunnel and uh, yep. So this road turns into the two lane road, comes around like that. And so hopefully with more commercial in here, this rail station will get used. I did end up putting this underground out here just to free up more space to build stuff. And yet the road here connects this side with uh, that side and I have a nice bridge here. I did also use Hawk's Boardwalk over here on this side as well as Hawk's versions, the various walkways. This one has this one's the 7x3 gift shop. This one is the Hawk Walkway version 2. And this is the walkway left. So it has like trees, it has an end, end spot here. And yeah. We also have the, the, the right side. So left side, right side. I wish I had a piece that I could fit in here. And if you notice any music, or if you notice any sound in the background, that is my new R9 290 video card, four gigabyte. Yeah, the the fan and all the heat is totally unimpairable in this room. <laughs> it was probably the worst mistake I had made upgrading my video card. <sighs> wow. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, it's been actually humid the last uh, day or two, and yesterday I didn't record any videos at all. It's currently Saturday, May 30th, so my plan to get any content out on the 31st is probably not going to happen, just because. <laughs> but uh, I had trouble speaking uh, because I have a bit of an asthma, and that makes it hard to... Yeah, anyway, that's not really important, but uh, anyway... So we have you know, another gift shop here, another one with parking. So yeah, this one's different than this one, which is just the, the walkway. And yeah, this is a seven by three with parking. That just continues the theme over here. This is also one of Hawks. And I had to redo this because when I replaced it, I haven't really done anything over here, although I have prettied it up with some trees and didn't go overboard with the trees. When I was using the tree brush, it was just too much and it didn't look good. But uh, yeah, this is definitely the new Charleston. I haven't done anything over here. Um, it's kind of just been a blind spot, kind of in the corner. And until I am able to expand it over here, yeah, it's not gonna happen. But uh, I added, squeezed in a segment of road in here this one actually does not turn now left we have a uh, lane control as you can see they can't make any left turns and also they can't make any left turns on there so there shouldn't be absolutely no slowdown even though there's some intersections here and there basically and I also got rid of of course the traffic lights and I'm a little bit concerned oh actually no it's back the last time I was playing the crossings mod wasn't there I wasn't able to add any crosswalks but uh, overall this place is looking pretty good nice uh, small collection of high density buildings in among the campus as well as out here for some reason this building I don't know what happened to it if it got updated but it basically disappeared from the city it was just an empty space there was no model there's no nothing it was like it just disappeared and I ended up having to spend another hundred fifty thousand to replace it but given that oh bother what happened to my money I'll be back Alright, so I'm back here in Charleston, and 
Where was I? Oh, that's right. So, yeah. When I switch between Tropico and Charleston, I have to remember to switch on and switch off the unlimited money as well as the unlock all mods. Because I'm not using those in this one and apparently I thought I had turned off the unlimited money but it was actually the unlock basic roads mod which is yeah. So as I was saying I had to spend $150,000 to place this but you know given that I have about $3 million that doesn't really matter. Anyway, what I am going to do, just because I originally had... Well, it looks like some of these got updated. Yeah. That's... What is it? This one? This one? Yeah, let's uh, throw these long like that. And can I... So that will give just a little bit of tree cover. And yeah, I had spent a lot of time putting down trees, putting down paths, connecting things up, things like this. All those things I had wanted to do but would have otherwise taken a ton of time. These paths here, like that. And if I, yeah, let's uh, put a few more trees in here. Those are small ones. Yeah. Alright. Do something like this. And it's pretty much, uh, you just click, 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 move your mouse around, see where it, uh, okay. Where it places down the trees. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So I have this. And actually, was I going to do anything with this? Oh, that's right. I had finished this as a residential neighborhood and I was going to bring it in here. But I never got done this. So I, what I might do on camera, oh yes indeed, is to lay out this. But what I want to do, my goal... We are up to 51,927 people, and I think I was around 48, 49,000 the last episode. And those couple extra thousand people that had come in while I was letting things run to uh, let the terrain adjust and the water physics and all the other stuff. And so my goal for this episode is to get up to the 60,000 people in order to get Megalopolis and unlock all these beautiful tiles. Oh yes, it'll be glorious. So that is what I'm going to do. I plan to have a commercial district in here. It's right off the highway, what you expect. And yep, people can come in through here and you know come back off, get off the highway. And this is just, an, if you're coming from here, and a few other access points, but uh, yeah. Anyway, so let's see. I have a medium demand for a commercial and a, what was it? Medium demand for a residential and medium demand for industrial or offices. I really, really wish there was a difference between the two, between low density and high density, where you actually have to reflect into your city the zoning for the particular so what I'm going to do probably going to keep this what is it currently zoned up as this is yeah just South Charleston and the University of Charleston campus so what I am going to do is yeah this is going to be low density so I'm going to do all low density to about here. And I'm going to leave this open to about there. And then I will probably do a three gap like that. 
And down here, what I might do is put some high density in here. Go along here. Maybe to about here. And this is all this ore industry, so. Hmm. I'll probably just put in low density right here as well as here. Oh, that's, that's offices. No, no, no offices. Low density there, it's not gonna be anything long there. And maybe, I'll, for now I'll just leave that blank. And I'll do low density there. Yeah, I'll do this high density. It'll be the only real high density in this area because most of this is low density. What I might do is put in a high density right here. I haven't decided anything there. But uh, we definitely need more people. So I'm going to do residential. And this, I think. No, I'm not going to do anything here. What I should probably have done is just uh, taken the zoning off this road. Just so it wasn't going to fight like this. But it doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is, of course, put more high density residential here. Oh, no. I don't see residential. I'm going to put more like this. And what I might do is put offices along here. Oh, this is. Actually, I don't need this road because. Yeah. Alright, that looks better. Office there, office there, and I don't need to bring anything into there because that's just, that's just that. And I might adjust this so it comes over so I get a full zone over here. And what I might do, if I look at electricity, I'm not really using anything over there, but... Uh, what I am going to do is bring this over to here. Do I have to page up? Space already occupied. What? All right, lift up. Seriously. You can't raise your power lines over that. All right, then I will have to go around like this. And I'm going to have to lift up to about there really space already occupied <laughs> that is so so yeah about that anyway I'm gonna let that run We will move this round and that has power. Good. Good. All right, so what do we have for zoning here now? Oh yes, that looks nice. And yeah, that's one. I'm gonna put, uh... yeah. Uh... 
what I'm going to do pedestrian path right to about here not to there really how about here to here there that's better Oh, seriously? <sighs> ah! I do not like this. All right, so I'm just going to ignore that. I'll put this like that. Oh, I hate, I hate how these uh, zones always fight over zoning all right so that is done and what I might do yeah that should be good I'll throw in some more residential over here maybe not actually yeah it should be fine I just wanted to put uh, the offices over here I'll probably continue that. Uh, offices. And would it be better? You know what? Yeah. I'm doing it. D zone. That. As well as that. Upgrade back like that. Ah, yes, that looks better. So what I'm going to do is put in some offices right here. And I'll put a, a two gap there. Let's uh, put a some offices there. And here as well. What I'm going to do is put in residential there as well as here. Now I wish I could, if I take the zoning off of this, of course I lose this. If I take the zoning off this, I lose this or some of this. <laughs> I could live with that. That's fine. That's fine. I just lose this. I could put some path in here. That's no problem. And yeah, this road gets the zoning here. So that's, I like that. That that feels a bit better. I just wish there was a way to be able to control zoning. Like, for instance, if you are building a road, you'd have a number down here where you could select the depth of zoning for the road. So, for instance, if you want to build a road with four deep zoning, it would default to four. That would just be the game's default. If you wanted to squeeze in too deep zoning you just dial the number back it'll create roads with too deep zoning this road yeah this is a main road comes in here just ends yeah what i'm going to do is put in more offices right along here put an office actually i'm going to i had readjust this but now i'm going to switch it back just because <laughs> I'm OCD. Alright, so no zoning. There, that's that's better. Because now I can get zoning right to the end end of this. Yes, like that. <laughs> uh, what I will do. And yes, I'm very obsessive about. Ooh, that's. Uh... Okay, that doesn't really change anything with this. So... I'm going to leave it like that. So I am going to bring in residential in here. 
there. I'm going to put an office right here. Put office like that. And like that. I'll leave this open for trees and parks and other stuff. And actually, four to six lanes. Oh. Nope. Oh, maybe. Yep, that works. Unfortunately, I have to redo the path. Like that, no problem. Awesome. So yeah, that works for me. And what I'm going to do is I'll extend this over to here and then I'll just bring it in there. I might do that off camera just because that's a lot of tedious work to do and I'm not sure if it's something you'd really want to see. <laughs> anyway, we got to that. I'm going to put time back on. And I am going to want to think about, that's right, leisure. It's actually not something I have really thought about for this area. A few parks here. Yeah, this area needs more leisure. And it's not something I mentioned in a previous episode, but I have had this for a little while, as you can see. Same concept, just a a walkway along the side of the, the river just because trying to put this ground path was rather disappointing and didn't work as well as I'd hoped it would but yeah all along here as well as in here you got a pedestrian path along the polluted Charleston River yes indeed <laughs> you can take a scenic route right across from the garbage dumps <laughs> anyway yeah so this is looking fine how is this doing are they able to yep all right and over here I had to convert this to a uh, a tunnel anyway we are currently at 51,957 people, but uh, we've been sitting there for a while now. And this is not really polluted. So putting, yeah, houses here should be fine. House here, house here. I'm gonna leave that open. I'm going to for now, I'm going to leave that as is. And another thing I done to try to resolve the traffic issue here was I have four roads coming in here and there's a very specific details here. So for instance, in this section of road, no one can turn left or right. And how does it work? This is a one way going that way, this is one way going that way, this is a one way going this way, and a one way going that way. And well, of course they can't go that way. But basically, uh, yeah, so we have, no one can turn right, no one can turn left. Yep, that's that works. And then over here, we have the same thing. Well, no one can turn Obviously, no one can turn that way, but uh, no one can turn left. So if you want to get into this area and you're coming from this direction, you have to make this turn off. So for instance, here it's green and you can turn right. But uh, if you're coming from this direction, you have to uh, take this left. If you're coming from this direction, 
you have to take this one. So it kind of splits off the traffic. Although with that said, with the districts in this section of road is part of this district, which has a, if we check the, not that, if we check the policies for Sunset Hills, it has under city planning, heavy traffic ban. So there will not be any, where is it? There will not be any heavy trucks coming through here because this is part of the heavy truck ban. And so, of course, all the traffic coming this way, they won't be clogging up this road. There will be two access points. Another thing I did was that I added another cargo terminal here. It'll be more convenient for the oil. And, of course, if necessary, any cargo coming from here, going over there, can come to the train station, come over here, get unloaded, and get over there. So I'm hoping that will help resolve traffic issues as well. And, I, yeah, I was doing a residential, but so far, yeah, letting this run, traffic is back to quite levels. This is no longer as crazy as it was. And is this getting used? Not really. If we take a look at this, all selected other total zero. So this isn't really getting used at all. Cargo truck two. They are going over there. Coming from out. Anyway. So yeah, that is that. And uh, <laughs> at this point though, I'm going to take a bit of a break. I'll probably just continue zoning up some residential. And we'll pick up from there. Oh, yeah, they're popping in. But, uh, yeah, that is going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching this episode of City Skylines, Charleston Edition. My name is Scott for SB Gaming, and as always, have a good day.